It's been two weeks and we are back. Make sure you like and subscribe wherever you're listening to the podcast. Also comment, do all the things. Uh, also new for this week, uh, affiliate links. For those of you have, that have used our links, there's going to be discount codes down below on the YouTube video. For those of you on the podcast, go to the YouTube. I will have them on the website uh, here shortly too. Discount codes for a, a lot of the SIM stuff we're now using. Um, also, some of the affiliate links don't have discount codes, but they do help us keep the show running. So please go check those out. Use those to make your purchases if you're already doing it. It doesn't really cost you much other than fulfilling that order. Thank you so much for those of you who have already used our links. Those are already helping us immensely. Our, and then also on our website, use code JACKSTANDS for 10% off and free shipping on orders over $35. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. If not, the graphic will correct me, but let's get the show going. This thing is a freaking monster. Welcome to 91 Octane. I am John. And I'm Tony. Yeah, buddy. So let's get right into it. I actually I actually had some things that I wanted to talk about today. Uh-oh. The first one being we hadn't talked about our fantasy team in a while. We have not. We have not. And really, I just want to know how you're doing. Do you know <laughs> off the top of your head how you're doing? Off the top of my head, not good. <laughs> <laughs> What place are you in? Uh, very low. Hold on. Let's see right here. <laughs> okay. I, I got mine memorized. Because it's that good or bad? Because it's, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Right. We'll, we'll see where I end up, but it's definitely okay. You know, I actually think I evened out. If I remember right, I was in 300 and something last time. Okay. Out of like 600 people. I'm still in 300 and something. Yeah. Okay. I'm in 360. You're in 360. Yes. I'm 67th. 67. 67th place. Yeah, Ferrari's been coming through for me with the one two in the last race. We'll see how this weekend goes, but I was curious about yeah. how you how that was going. Oh man. But anyway, we're gonna get into yeah. our 91 octane headlines as usual. Then we're gonna go to our headline head to head. And of course, it wouldn't be 91 octane if we didn't cover April Fools in some way. So today yes. we're introducing something new. We're going to assume we are the arbiters of April Fools. I hate that you use assume. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to provide some ratings on a lot of the April Fools content that went out. Because uh, honestly, a lot of our content that goes out is April Fools all the time. So it really only makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it really, yeah, it really only makes sense. But we're going to start... With our 91 Octane headlines, and these were not April Fool's headlines. I've got like eight monitors going this week, so <laughs> I'm having to figure out what I'm doing. And I'm going to kick it off this week with F1 seeks to be more accessible to fans, offers high interest Visa Cash App Racing Bull loans. There, that, that was a two-parter. That was, <laughs> that was a two-parter, You, you yeah. know why it was a two-parter, right? Why? The Visa Cash App part, right? Yeah. And the more accessible part. That's the part <laughs> that that was the whole thing for me. Like, yeah, the, the more accessible part was the what is what I'm satirizing here. Okay, all right, right? right. That was the whole thing. Cause and that's why the, the question that I have for you this week is what would it take for you to go to an F1 race live? You're you're what I would describe as the demographic that Formula One wants to capture. You're on the outskirts. You're not really a fan. Yep. You're hating on how boring the racing is. Even F1 when for, wants me. Got yeah, it. F1 <laughs> wants you. Yeah, they want you hard. But a ticket to Vegas is going to cost you 1500 bucks. Oh, yeah. No, it's not going to be Vegas. Right? So if we working down from let, – let's, let's work Vegas because it's in our backyard. So it's going to keep your travel costs down, right? You can really just drive there, right. watch the race, come back. At what price point would you actually go? Okay, so we had a small discussion about this a, maybe a month or two back now. Okay. When we were still talking about Vegas and F1, right? Cheers. Cheers. Yes, sir. Yep. So if anybody remembers that conversation, they know that we were a little bit like, no, it's not worth it because 
Vegas is in our backyard. Right. Right. So if we were, and in that discussion, we also talked about, would we do one in Spain? Okay. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So for it to be low enough for me to go to my own backyard to yeah. watch it, it would have to be under two, 300 bucks. That's where I thought you would land. Really? I, for, like a little. Because I'm cheap or because. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there was a small part of me that was like right now, as soon as I asked that question, that was thinking, is this dude really going to say like 60 bucks right now? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm. but then I was like, you know what? Like, I, I don't. Let me take that back. Maybe I didn't think that would. that's where you were going to land. Maybe that's where I would land. Right? Really? I. I will admit I would pay more. There is a part of me that would pay the fifteen hundred to go to a race. That's a big gap you got there. <laughs> I know, I know. But at two hundred to three hundred dollars, it would be no question. Okay. Right. That's that's where I'm like, okay, that makes sense to go watch a race. I'm I'm in. Yeah. But I'm also like, I'm such a homebody man. Like, watching sports on TV is just so much more convenient. Yeah. So it's like the the cost of leaving my couch to go watch a couple corners as opposed to watching the whole race. Yeah. I don't know. See, and now you're selling me down right now. So <laughs> <laughs> so you're down. Now it's like 100, 100 bucks because <laughs> <laughs> I started thinking about it. I was like, all right. So like th- I like the Grand Prix. Right. I fucking love the Grand Prix. The which one? Um uh, Long Acura, Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Long Beach, right? Yeah. Um maybe not a hundred percent it's always about the cars because I can go watch a couple corners or whatever. Yeah. But because they section off a good area that is for the event itself, I am usually lit by noon. Like, <laughs> oh, gotcha! You could do that in an F one race. Uh, oh, yeah, but like, lit how much by of, noon? I was lit by <laughs> noon. There was a younger day where a yeah. Tony was passed out under a bleacher in the shade because it was hot and I was dehydrated. Are you? Say- yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Hot and dehydrated. Oh, it was from beer. It was from I, yeah. alcohol. Don't get me wrong. That's the wrong D word. It's drunk. <laughs> Wait, what happened? What happened? So we found what out. What time did you start? Oh, it was early in the morning. Dude. Like 8 a.m., 7 a.m.? Whenever they let us in. Your first drink was whenever they let you in. Yeah. I don't know when they opened. I've I, never I don't there. remember. It was This was years ago. It was okay. a younger, more ambitious Tony. 2022. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we would start with the beer, and then we discovered, and I'm trying to remember what the restaurant was. If it was out. Was it Outback? Was it Outback? Bubba Gump's. No. It, no. No, no, no. It was on the south end. It, but it was a restaurant, and I think the workers did it on the side. I don't think it was part of the restaurant, but it was like $2 Jello shots. Okay. And we were like, $2? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Oh, yeah. We were in, and then we were gone. Oh, it was man. so bad, dude. And it was packed because it was more than just me there. You we were there go. for the for the race. We race were there day. for the race. Okay. There was like me and like eight or nine of us. Oh, nine damn. Other buddies. Okay. It was like ganga. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was enough to where 20 bucks was buying a round for everybody. And oh, everybody bought a round. And then 20 bucks was buying a round for nine just people? About. Yeah. What? Yeah. Was this 1929? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was. That's why I don't, I don't think this was part of the restaurant. I think it was the workers making their own Jello shots oh. and just fucking slanging them out of there, dude. So it was gotcha. extra cheap, all cash, and gotcha. everybody was going, dude. So you were. I misunderstood. You were doing multiple rounds of Jello shots. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that's so we gross. We found cheap alcohol and we just <laughs> fucking went for it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, what be- the breakfast of champions, dude? Yes. For sure. It, all right. It got so bad that. Because we already looked like a mob because there were so many of us. Yeah. Random people were there and then you, random people. Let me people clarify, were buying... you look like a gang and not a mob. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, random people were showing up and just buying rounds and then 
I don't know what the fuck happened. Was, Random people, as in people you didn't know? People we did not know were jumping on the hype, dude. It what? was bad. <laughs> Damn, you guys were the life of the party. It then. was it was something. So else. how many rounds did you estimate before you ended up under the bleachers? I do not remember. Damn. Like, I legitimately really? do not remember. No. Do you remember being under the bleachers, or is this something something somebody told you? No, no. I woke up. You woke up. <laughs> I woke up. The and same we day. The day. Yeah, oh. we finished the day. <laughs> <laughs> you took a nap. I just a needed nap. a nap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you out? Again, I do not know. Wow. I do not know. This is probably the best racing story like ever. With no racing? <laughs> yeah, no race. But did you catch the race? Uh, we caught the races we wanted to see. Which was the IndyCar race. Uh, we were there more for the IMSA ones. We, I, uh, I, got, I got okay. up early enough. I got early enough. Right. So you were so like it was enough for a good recovery. I'm gonna I'm ch- start challenging your brain a little bit. Like oh, no. What like <laughs> like at what time would you estimate? Like give me like a cable guy window of when you were passed oh, out. Like noon. It had to have been at least. It, it, I was probably only out for maybe an hour or so. Right. So probably around 11, 11 to noon-ish somewhere. Okay, so it wasn't super give or hot take yet. 30. Yeah, give or take 30 minutes. Yeah, a little power nap. Yeah. Yeah. Recover, got up. We watched the race. Did you that's, yak? Huh? Did you yak? Yeah. That That's the reset right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 you felt so much better after. Damn, you must have had a lot, man. Yeah. Well, we have. We did it every year. It was. Uh. Long Beach Grand Prix is in like 15 days. I think we need to recreate this story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, all right. Hey, yeah. the homies know who you are. Yeah. Hit us up and yeah. we'll mob out. <laughs> yeah, dude, 100%. 100%. This is, we have to do it. Uh, Mission I'm, put Tony I'm, under the bleachers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually super curious if those like, uh, if that restaurant, those workers still do that. That'd be funny. Probably no way, dude. No it, way. This was so long ago, No dude. way. Like, they, <laughs> I, I guarantee you that they fired most of them. Probably. And they were like, you guys made someone pass out under the bleachers. So you guys can't do that anymore. I, it only happened one year. And oh, we man. did it for like four years after that. Every year like clockwork. And they I, always dude, I had would, it. I would love it. I would love it if that existed. I mean, with inflation now, though, depending it's, on when that was. Eight dollars. Eight dollar <laughs> jello, jello shots. I don't know. But I mean, yeah, we could go to Yard House and, and you know, pound 8 a.m. And it's been ages since I've started. I don't know that I had the earliest drink I've had probably in the last four years is this podcast. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, that's crazy. All right, well, I mean, that was that was a lot for that headline. Now, let's get Whoops. the next one. You're up. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't remember if we coordinated these ahead of time, so I'm sorry if I took yours. Okay. <laughs> um, driver become driver becomes first fool in space after low rider hits the perfect hop. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, no lames. The higher no the lame, socks, yes. dude. <laughs> It's uh I was watching I was watching the lowrider uh uh Instagram and I'm just watching like all their hopping videos. Yeah. I still get this itch. I'm from LA, you know, so you're SoCal born and raised to like it, and being Hispanic, like it almost felt like an obligation at some point, like uh, having a lowrider. Mm-hmm. If you had a chance at owning a lowrider, what would you own? Easy, easy question. <laughs> is it really? Well, uh, easy in the sense that there is one that I want. Okay, to do. already. O- already, and I've dabbled with buying one more than once. Really? Okay, yes. so you've taken more steps than I have. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which, what is it? It's my wagon back. My original 93 Capri station wagon. Oh, yeah. a wagon low rider. Hell yeah. What type of low rider would you be? Static low static. rider? Static low rider. It would be static. Not I Dayton's do the and hop. switches? No, no, no. Why not? Um, you don't want It's fucking cool, but it looks uncomfortable as fuck. <laughs> it, uh, you're right. You're right. It is. But how often are you going to take out your. It's just a cruising well, car. That's just the whole thing, though. I want to be able to just cruise cruise and be comfortable in it you know what i mean yeah how would you describe the feeling that you anticipate if you were to have that low rider that i would anticipate like how would you anticipate feeling driving that car 
oh, it would have its own fucking vibe and genre. Right. Like, and what would you, that vibe be for you? The vibe for me would have to be like um, some oldies for sure. <laughs> I okay. go straight oldies okay. in mine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, only blank. Blank shirts and fucking chucks. <laughs> oh, so you're, you're even dressing the part. I'm even, it's the oh, full vibe when okay, you get in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're like like oldies. I'm getting pulled over in every neighborhood vibe. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I would love to go to like Laguna Beach or... Scare all the people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? Well, you We're, see, to scare them, though, it can't be too nice. You're right. right. It's got to be gotta a have bit of just hoop enough hoop hood. Yeah, it has to have enough. Actually, that's hood a good question. It. Like, like what? I, what level would you have? Like, would it be? Because you probably wouldn't want like shitbox level low rider. No, no, no. But then, like middle of the road is probably very clean paint, not really wild. And then top of the line is you know the low rider mirrors. Mirror, put the mirrors under yeah, the car. Mirrors. You've got the little badge on the back that says your crew yeah, name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where where do you land in that spectrum? Mine would be nice paint, nice interior, good sound, and I still have to have an exhaust. So <laughs> you still have to have it really. But it's gonna be drivable, comfortable, but not. It's not gonna be full on show car. It thing. sounds kind of lame, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be able, the whole point is to enjoy it. The whole that point is, is true. To enjoy that is it. true. But you're kind of you're kind of being quiet, and that's okay though. What does it mean to you to have swag? Hmm. In that's the in a the weird low, definition. In the, in, the con- definition. in the context of a low rider. In the context of a low rider. Yeah. Um, I think in the context of a low rider, you got to be more than basic bolt on. More than OEM plus. Okay. More than OEM plus. Okay. You got to have a little bit of custom to it. But I feel like what you're describing is OEM plus, unless I'm not catching the vision. Well, usually it's going to be a nice paint, but not OEM paint, because you ain't going to find anything that old. So you're still going to do like a like a cherry or like a maybe not as loud as a cherry, but it's going to be a nicer paint that I'm going to choose. Yeah. Okay. What would it be? Now let's build it. Oh, okay. fuck it. Let's build it. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? If it was mine, and uh, maybe it is just as loud as that cherry, but it's going to be like that um, that super, super dark that has those undertones of purple, depending on like how you look at it. So like a, like a midnight? Um, I guess yeah. like a midnight. I'm not sure what yeah. the paint colors are called or anything. Well, there's like a midnight blue that turns into purple, but you want a black that like has purple black in it? a black that has a purple hint. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, Something that, like that. Okay. Subtle, but still fancy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Something like that. And um, maybe it's the, the m- motorsport side of me. It is going to be built. It's not going to be like... You're still. Ri- I'm still gonna put a big, ass, big uh, power motor in it. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know what? I don't know enough. I don't know the lowrider scene that deep to un- to know that niche, like the okay. niche. Because there's definitely there has to be, and I'm assuming here. I know you hit that word. I'm assuming here, but there has to be a niche of lowriders that still pays a lot of attention to the drivetrain. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh man, I can't remember what the name is, but it's a drag racing like series they have competitions of this shit where you can't drag race unless you come out with your shit on like 24s or something oh are you si- like donks yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they drag race them and i'm talking about pull, full big block builds doing fucking thousand plus horsepower Dude, I mean, but they're like, on fucking donks. <laughs> i'm gonna take you on a tangent right now I, we are gonna come back to low riders but this is what I don't get about the dumbass motherfucking takeover kids. There's so much silly shit that you can do in cars mm-hmm. that is legit. Like rate like drag racing donks, drag yeah. racing lowriders. Dope like, as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. That is a badge of honor. But yeah. anyway, anyway, let's get back to it. Let's build the rest of it. Okay. Right? So now, okay, so we've got the paint out of the way. We got the drivetrain out of the way. You're going to have power, of course. Now... <laughs> Now the rest of it, like let's talk wheels. Let's talk, you know, how low it is. What what are you looking at? Uh, so wheels are probably gonna have to be chrome. Okay, because you can't low rider without chrome. You know, okay, chrome or gold. Uh, okay, so 
I guess because I don't want the Dayton's and hydraulics, I go chrome. You go chrome, right? If I'm, it's if it's like a Dayton hydraulic G body or something, you know what I mean? Then yeah, yeah. I can see those being the little gold Dayton's. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I'm I, that makes sense. You're, you're I'm, thinking I'm, about I'm Dayton, Regals. I'm Dayton and switches. Yeah, yeah. You're thinking about Regals. Yeah. And Dayton's. So I would because yeah. I'm also like allergic to chrome. Like it. it makes me cringe into a raisin and die. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate chrome so much. I don't understand it, but I get it. No, that I makes sense. Chrome body parts on a low rider. Yeah. I want chrome wheels. Chrome chrome wheels are all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the the body is not really gonna have yeah. chrome. It's the wheels that I want. Chrome. Are, are they are they spinners? I'm down. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> You don't think I'll put spinners just to piss you off, John? <laughs> this is just an exercise in how to pitch each other yeah. off. Like we're just gonna build the, the antithesis, antithesis of each other's cars. Yeah, it's gonna right. be an Audi with chrome and spinners. <laughs> an and Audi lowrider. <laughs> can an Audi be a lowrider? Uh, you know what? <sighs> Every once in a while, I see one that's with all the lowriders, and I'm just like, what the? F-? Not not an Audi specifically, but just like a non-conventional car like a new impala you know versus like yeah town car oh yeah, yeah. Hot, a little bit of a hot take because they yeah. they've become more prevalent but yeah you see a lot of lincoln town cars and i'm just like that's that doesn't uh, it doesn't match man yeah. to me it doesn't match but and i'm with you yeah but i'm also not really like i feel like i i'm not part of the culture enough to speak on it thank you because yeah. i don't feel like i'm enough on it but it's kind of like, okay, I start thinking about it like, all right, let's take uh, what we like, right? Yeah, yeah. If we saw this random Geo Metro at the track. Dude, you know that would dope be Dope as fuck. Yeah, oh, God, that oh. would be my best friend yeah. for life. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. Like, all right, from our side, when you see unconventional cars out there, it's kind of like, my fucking guy. Yeah, yes. yeah. Do the lowriders feel the same way? Or do they see that shit and be like, get that Cavalier the fuck out of here? I think, it's the, I think it's the same as the track guys. There's going to be a community of them that it's like, what? I mean, I got a lot of hate for the Kia. Uh, you, you know what? Yeah. You are absolutely. I did not even think about that because I get hype on the Kia Rios and the fucking Geo Metros. Yeah. But there is people in our side of the culture that see those and go, get the fuck out yeah. of here. Yeah, dude. I, rem- I remember getting like Kia Rio. Like, I'm out on the track, I'm here, here having fun, and these dudes are just like, Kia Rio? Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. Like, but we, I think we're the underdog people, mm. whereas they're... Got to step out of our bubble a little yeah, bit on that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't you know. know. It's always a gatekeeping. If anybody is familiar with the lowrider community, let us know if... Do they like unconventional cars? If they yeah. saw If they saw Cavalier lowrider show up, are they, are they praising or are they kicking them out? And like, yeah, give me a ride in the Ramfla for real though. Like, I, <laughs> like I want to go kick it. I, we need to, we need to go to like a lowrider show every Friday by my house. For real. For real. Okay. I, I have some pictures of me and my dog there. We okay. <laughs> Thanks for the invite, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> every Let, Friday. We gotta go. We every gotta Friday. go. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been to a lowrider show since I was in high school. You know, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. No. So. It's it's well. It's a mix of like lowriders and classics. Yeah. And it's funny because it, this is back when I used to have the Crown Vic with the canine cage. Yeah, yeah. And I'd bring my dog out, and you you, you just you know, there's a portion of the lowrider show that has all the fucking weed. Hey, <laughs> fucking hide like, that yeah, shit. Yeah. He's got the fucking drug five dog. Five oh, five oh. One time, one time. <laughs> He's got the fucking drug dog over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, for sure, dude. You would totally. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, oh, I could yeah. see you. Like, I, I'd be convinced you're a cop. <laughs> and yeah. it's dark and it was dark so like you couldn't even tell that the crown vic was fucked up yeah so. <laughs> damn that's so you could i think you could play a cop i think you could play a cholo right you do it all man you do it would undercover you do it all? Cop, undercover cop undercover cop for cholo. sure yeah <laughs> what would your as an actor right let's say you're gonna be an actor you're playing a cop what would your name be oh fuck as a cop yeah, as a cop. You're a cop. You, a cop. you give yourself a cop name. A what? cop name. What's a yeah. cop name? I feel like uh, there's a Garcia uh, in there, but I don't know what the first name is. David. David Garcia. I think it's a David. I think I know a David Garcia, and that's what's throwing me off. I know a David Garcia, too, and I always tell him he looks like a cop. So <laughs> <laughs> I think you helped. <laughs> it. <laughs> it works. Yeah, 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 the one that I know is a jiu-jitsu or guy. Dan. Very straight up. 
Dan. Dan Garcia. Dan. Yeah. Dan hits. Dan Garcia. Yep. Yes, I, I I believe I'd be pulled over and ticketed unjustly by a Dan Garcia. <laughs> yeah. He stops it. Ticket. Oh man. <laughs> All right. So you did take one of my headlines. Oh man. But I got one more question before we leave this one, okay. um, and then you go on your second one. We'll close it there because we got a lot to cover today. Got it. Um, where would the lowrider fall on your list, right? Ooh. Of cars to acquire. Damn. Right. Okay. Let's not go through your full list, but. Let's say, you know, like, is it in the top 10? Is it in the top five in order of cars that you would, you would get? It's, it's probably not in the top five, but it's not close to the end of 10. I'd say it's in the 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven range. It's in okay. the 6-7 range. Okay. Without trying to list and itemize every single one out, it's probably in that range. That's pretty good. It, it's enough to where, like I said, I've looked at them and been like, yeah. is this a good candidate? All right. Like, can I build this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, because you, you even said, you even considered, like, oh, I might, you know, pick this I've, back up. I've seen a couple of them there. I've seen a couple of them. It's just the cleaner ones are now going for, like, Dumb money. Oh, man. That's I, well, I think it's dumb money yeah. for what it is. I'm just like, come on, man. It's a, yeah. It's a family wagon. Two grand. Yeah. 15. Damn. Yeah, for a family wagon, for you're For a right. family wagon, all OEM, and has some rough parts that you know you're, it's going to be a motherfucker to find a and six replace. Or seven. Yeah. But honestly, like, the lowrider vibe is a vibe that I chase. That's, yeah. not, that's not a vibe that we've that I have experienced at all. So it'd be nice to, to experience that. I mean, I've also kind of put myself in this German domestic market, and I haven't really been able to leave. Okay. God, now I'm now you I'm thinking. You actually haven't. Look at now, that. now I'm thinking. I'm like, man, what am I doing to myself? Why am I? <laughs> why am I? Why am I in a single country? You know, like because the logical next step is going to be a Porsche, right? That's the logical yeah. next step from BMW. And then your money's so tied up, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's all my it. money. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my retirement is tied up in a car. Three three M cars and a Porsche? E- oh, no, those would have to go. <laughs> <laughs> those would have to go. All right, next, he- next headline. All right. A <clears throat> man legally changes name to Max Verstappen after consistently beating Google Maps by 30 seconds. Okay, are you... Are you the type to not care about be- beating Google Maps, or are you always looking to gain an edge? Uh, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. I get a lot of seat time on traffic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do. You do. I do. I do. I did at one that's point. Why, I don't anymore. That's why I was like, man, you didn't go far enough for this satire. Okay. You did not. I beat Google by like three to five minutes consistently. So I- <laughs> Okay, Max. <laughs> Three, th- 30 seconds? Come on now. So I thought about this, right? I thought about this. And I, so let's, let's brainstorm this because originally when I came up, with the, when came up with the headline, the first thought I had was I've always beat Google Maps by more than 30 seconds. Yeah. But Max is consistently beating the field by about 30 seconds. But 30 seconds in a race is like – an hour. <laughs> Out so on the so road. I should have so so the Max Verstappen connection was enough by just calling out his name and I should have ignored the 30 seconds. Absolutely. Damn. I saw this and I was like 30 <laughs> seconds. This is the most reasonable <laughs> post I've ever seen. <laughs> Damn That's it. That's why I wanted to talk about this. Yeah, so I was like, dude, this is dude. too reasonable. Yeah, you didn't I, go hard enough. Oh, <laughs> you're right. You're so right. I went back and forth, man. I was like, eh. but then the three to five minutes takes me away from like the the, the Formula One side of the things too much. Yeah. But you're it right. It should have been like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It was a very reasonable, <laughs> reasonable like, take. Yeah. yeah, I was like, oh, man, is this the April Fool's? <laughs> it's on the wrong day. <laughs> God, now that we're talking about it, I'm, I'm thinking about it even more. I'm like, I should have gotten out of my head about that because you're right. The post, the post did all right, but it probably would have done better at 30 minutes than 30 seconds i think everyone i want to meet the person who doesn't race the clock oh they can't 
Do I you know anyone? I don't know anybody. Even non-car people are like, yeah, try to beat Google Maps or whatever maps are on, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just satisfying. It's satisfying to come in a little early. Yeah. Even if it's a minute. Million dollar idea. A race inspired map system that always lets you win. <laughs> it gets people like hooked just like so you fuck with them. So like the closer they get, you know what I mean? A race they inspired just, GPS system. Yeah, but it always makes it a close race. So like it gets people addicted to trying to beat it, but maybe they don't beat it. So let this let's and get we're this, just fucking with them basically. Let's get let's get this out of the way. This is extremely dangerous. <laughs> But I'm in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm in. And so, like, like let's build it out. Let's build out the idea. Okay. So so you you gain points right. by how much you beat so, the clock by. Have you ever read those studies of how, like, these weird, like, usually they're like, oh, this new Chinese game triggers fucking whatever um, psychology to get people addicted to seeing the numbers go up and all this kind of shit, right? I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. There's like these studies about how they're exploitive by using these triggers that gets people's psychology into like, oh, I saw the numbers go up, so I want to keep playing. Oh, okay. Then, so gambling psychology. Think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I think Amazon uses the same shit for some of their workers and oh, stuff right. like that. Like the nineteen ninety five versus twenty dollars for something. Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So essentially we take the data of the person getting closer to the destination and manipulate the time to keep them right at the edge. Like, Oh fuck, I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. Right. Thus addicting them to it. (laughs) Oh yeah. You know what I mean? It keeps, it keeps it interesting. And what, but all you're doing, I don't know. I think I'd want a different take. Okay. I think I'd want accurate numbers, but you reward the people that are consistently beating the times we're, you're keeping a leaderboard, right? Right, but then how do you trick them into paying you more money? <laughs> uh, that's that's the whole the whole purpose. People so this use is, that is so to get them this, to keep going into it, right? <laughs> now we're getting into how social media is actually built, right? Because yeah. the top layer of creators is like automatically already like they're good. Yeah. And their action, their function now to, to, let's say Instagram, for example, right? We're probably going to get sunk for this. But Instagram, for example, they look at them as attractors to the app. Right. Right. We don't need to make money through subscriptions. We can make money through ads, through yep. any other means, right? So they're attracting people into it. So what, so what we do is we keep the leaderboard aspect. But for the bottom layer of it, we implement your idea. Sounds good. A bunch of trickery. Yeah, a bunch of, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of trickery. <laughs> what a bunch of scammers, man. <laughs> and you know we would fall for it. You know we'd be the I, first one. I would be so stuck on that thing. Yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> God, yeah. And then so then what would we... Like how would like assign like race car avatars include like we could make deals with IMSA and Formula mm-hmm. One and yeah. Yeah. And make our money that way. I don't think that we could beat Waze. I think this is an idea we need to pitch to Waze. Maybe. As like a skin that they can use. We market it as the official Cannonball Race app. (laughs) We're just consistently hitting horrible ideas. (laughs) No, That's like okay. no, no, like no, like investor money would ever, ever hit like Cannonball. But there is a community of people out there, there that is. would invest in that. Oh yes, there yeah. is. Yeah, man. Would it work? No, because it'd be a bunch of trickery. But yeah, <laughs> well, at the lower level, at the higher levels, yeah. once you get out of that level, and we'll be transparent about it, we'll be like, you know, at the bottom levels, you know, you're working your way up. You're a grunt. Yeah. But once you get past that. You're good to go. You're going to hit the actual leaderboards. Wink, wink. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, those are your 91 octane headlines. It's getting a little ridiculous today. We're a little delirious. Our Dave jobs are killing us. But now it's time for the headline head to head. And you, I don't even want to describe. You're probably, what, you're three games up, I believe. Yeah. Three games up. I've been playing catch up the entire time you joined 91 Octane. I'm offended. I am offended. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I'm like I have I have such 
like empathy for all the people that I put through this last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, that's that was so unfair. Like, I'm so sorry to all the guests last year. Like, <laughs> I should have been doing it with you guys. But anyway, the headline head to head. You guys, you were the. <laughs> <laughs> He's the man of the people. So uh, you won last time. So you get the choice. Are you going to be hot seat first or asking the question uh-huh. first? Um, I will ask the question first. All right, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. This classic video game car is getting its own Hot Wheels this year. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, Every time you pause hold on, like hold this, on, hold I feel on, like you've seen it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> how much of it do I have to say? Uh, what do you mean, how much of it? Like, how much of the car? Like, do I just have to get make and model? I'll give you make it model. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, man, dude. And now it's a game of trusting my brain. I think you're still the only one who has guessed an answer for the double point. <laughs> I have not done it yet. It so, frustrates me. So I would do better on Jeopardy, but but other than that, oh God, this one. Oh, man. So I know this. I know I know this. But it's like. Tip of my tongue, tip of my brain type of situation right now. So it's either you, it might have been it might be the whiskey. I, I needed to figure chip. out the you figure out the for the double points or it triggers you and you get pissed off when I give you the multiple toy choice and you're like, oh, that and it's going right to ruin the rest of my game. <laughs> oh, man, this car is getting a hot wheel. I'm going to play it safe. Sorry, guys. I'm playing it safe. Multiple choice me, man. All righty. I'm going to be so mad. The 350Z from Need for Speed Underground 2. B, GTR from Gran Turismo 2. C, the E46 M3 from Need for Speed Most Wanted. Or D, the 4GT LM from Gran Turismo 4. Um, I'm you know, shocked I'm, you're still struggling. I'm, honestly, it, I, it sounded know, like you had it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, I'm like this is what happens every time. Like my brain starts thinking, well, what if you're wrong? Hit the brakes real quick. What if you're wrong about you're that? You're about to guess it on the fly. And you know what I was gonna guess? What GTR? I was okay. gonna guess GTR, and GTR is gonna be my final answer. And GTR is the right one. GTR is the right one. Ah, <laughs> damn it, man. <laughs> Damn it, man. You got the point. What are you frustrated about? Because <laughs> I could have had double points, man. I could have had double points. I but knew yes, this one. It's the GTR from Gran Turismo 2. That's pretty cool. I, I like. I know it's going to be impossible to get, but I probably, really want to get it. Yeah. I really, really want to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I it's, got this one. I was like, ah, oh, I'm being nice this week. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But damn, man, I knew it. I knew it. I should have just sent Nissan GTR. I don't trust myself enough. You know? Confidence is a bitch, man. Mm-hmm. I need a lowrider. That, that would help. <laughs> that would help for sure. All right, now you're in a hot seat. Police, All right. police have implemented this new tactic to combat car chases. Multiple choice, man. Multiple choice. Tracking darts. Ferrari police cars. Special registration for high horsepower cars. Or electromagnetic spike strips. Hmm. Okay. Well, with budgets in America on police, it could be a Ferrari. (laughs) Easily. (laughs) I would be so mad. Um, what was the first one again? Tracking darts. Tracking darts. Electromagnetic spike strips. That's right. And special registration for high horsepower cars. Special registration for high horsepower cars. That one doesn't really vibe to me. I don't see how that would under that that would make sense to help them at all. Electromagnetic spike strips. And tracking darts tracking darts i'm gonna go with tracking darts just because 
there's always that whole liability of like somebody getting hurt. So I feel like spike strips, electromagnetic kind of lends too much liability. I'm gonna go tracking darts. Final answer. You know what, Dan Garcia, you are a cop, man. You yeah. are tracking <laughs> darts is correct, sir. I you just are, had to remember you, my days at the academy. <laughs> 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 so police in texas are actually using these darts that they shoot from the front of their suvs that catch cars God it's damn. very similar to okay. you might not know this because you're not a fan but in fast and the furious too fast too furious the second one okay they had those like claws that shot out and shut down I, the car do you remember that yeah I do remember yeah that. yeah so it's similar <laughs> to that but it's just a dart that sticks to the car yeah just less aggressive. Yeah, just less <laughs> aggressive. And it's like, that's a smart idea, yeah. actually. You know, just let them go. Why go into police chases? I wonder if California or L.A. is going to implement something like this. Because we're, we like to televise our, it's like entertainment for oh, us. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, the way things are going, traffic will stop them. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's just too many cars on the road. You know, out, out there where they got them open roads, <laughs> yeah, oh, they just going to yeah. keep going. <laughs> yeah. I think there was a Dodge Charger that they haven't been able to catch for like the last three years. Oh, shit. Yeah, for that same reason. So it makes sense. But honestly, to me, like the darts seem kind of dinky. Like if you, I encourage everyone to go look up at these videos. They do stick well. But I don't know how, like, they have to be pretty close to shoot at the other car. I would say within, like, six to ten feet. Oh, shit. So I feel like <sighs> if you've got a car with a good, you know, some decent pull, just you're going to get away. Yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. Just keep away. Yeah. And if you can drive, just, you know, hit a, hit a left, hit a right a little bit, and yeah. you're probably not going to get hit. Okay, so I don't know. fucking police are playing Mario Kart. Yeah, seriously. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first stage of hitting that blue shell eventually, oh, man. man. <laughs> All right, next next question. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. <laughs> that is me. All right. <clears throat> Construction workers found what is believed to be an old moonshine cave hidden under the grandstands of this NASCAR track. Oh, uh, it's multiple choice. Okay. I'm just said, oh, because that's interesting. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I was like, damn, man, I'm picking another one. He saw. <laughs> no. Okay. A. The Milwaukee Mile. B. Darlington Speedway. C. <clears throat> Martinville Speedway. D. North Wil Wilkesboro Speedway. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, Moonshine. Yeah, I thought this was actually cool because we alluded to this, I think, last episode. Under the bit. bleachers, right? The grandstands. The yes. grandstands. Yeah. Bleachers. I'm still thinking about your... <laughs> <laughs> Under uh, the grandstand, yeah, they found a skeleton of uh, my ancestor. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Garcia. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay uh i am going to go with stick sound in my mind because i i actually did see someone talk about this on instagram but it didn't stick in my brain so i'm rely i'm relying on my subconscious i'm gonna go with darlington darlington final answer final answer darlington the correct answer is north wilbrook's ah, speedway <laughs> i should have guessed by how much you stumbled on saying that my voice cracked on uh, <laughs> Martinville, and I was like, oh, man, did I just give a tell for him? <laughs> Damn it. No, he, which, which, which one was the right one again? North Wilkesbrook. North or Wilkesboro. Wilkesboro, sorry. Wilkesboro. Yeah, yeah. All right. Damn. So they're doing renovations right now, and I guess while they were working around the grandstands, something cracked collapsed in like a sinkhole and they i found saw the hole did you cave. see the hole yeah, yeah yeah i was like dang they haven't found anything that showed like that's where they were brewing but they're like they're pretty sure that's what it was so i've i've read conflicting news and it's and this is what pisses me off that i know the news but i didn't know the track uh, so apparently it's like the 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 track might be drumming up like marketing like oh. they want attention so this is not actually accurate but Ha the other half of media is saying, yeah, it is, that, that they found a still in there. You know what? If it was a still, I think that'd be an awesome opportunity to kind of reinforce around it and use it as like part of like a museum for the track. 
fuck that. Bring the still back. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Start brewing moonshine. Isn't it North Carolina? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't remember what you said. The well, the state that it's in. Oh, North Carolina is, is not a state, but. Or s- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, South Carolina. South, I think it. I think it might be South Carolina. Yeah. I think I remember seeing, but like, guarantee you, they have them there already. Oh yeah, they, but they like, have moonshiners there already. But having it in the spot is probably going to drive more people there. Like, man, that's some powerful alcohol to have in a NASCAR <laughs> yeah. race. I mean, they sell moonshine everywhere now. I mean, there was a little while where it was like a bunch of reality TV shows with people moonshining still. But now, like, you see moonshine sold at Ralph's out yeah. here. Yeah, I don't even know if that's really actually moonshine, but you know, it's sold everywhere. What Might makes as well moonshine do it. Moonshine. I don't know. I, I don't know, know enough yeah. about alcohol. I just know mm-hmm. how it makes me feel. And, it's, <laughs> and, clear, <laughs> and clearly how it makes you feel so in Long Beach. passionate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know much about it. I just know how it makes me feel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's going to be a quote later, man. <laughs> All right. Now it's up to you. Uh, you a chance to take the lead here. According to CNN, why does the UK drive on the left? All right, multiple choice me. Okay. For waving and fighting, because wagons drove on the right, because it was easier to build right-hand drive cars, or to make a roundabout safer. Man, okay. This one's interesting for sure. I'm trying to think about what I know about, you know, that history? side of the world in <laughs> about history? No. About Europeans? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Um, Is it croissant or croissant? <laughs> it's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. Um, so I think because roundabouts are way more prevalent there, I think I'm going to go with roundabouts. To make a roundabout safer. Yeah. Which I don't know how it does, but that's what I'm going to go with. Okay. The correct answer is for waving and fighting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So apparently, because it's easier to wave to other cars if you're on that driving on that side, that was one. Is but it? then also, your right hand is your dominant hand. So drawing a sword to fight someone coming down to attack you. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? easier if you are right hand drive wow. uh, also this is for the uk specifically for the rest of europe it turns out napoleon and the french are at fault because they mandated in a lot of countries that they were fighting in that they had to drive on that side of the road wild yeah wild. now that they had cars back then it was probably wagons but yeah 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 Oh, man, one out of two. I'm so happy about that, that we're tied. Because, yeah, you had a trend going where you were just going to get everything right. <laughs> yeah, but for Don't waving too fast. and fighting. <laughs> waving and fighting. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. We're we're vulnerable out here with our left hand, right hand, left hand drive cars. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was doing that in my mind, and I was like, hold on. <laughs> they drive on this side of the road, but we're over here. And it's a, it's like, it's such a weird. Have you ever had to go to a third? Like, I'm gonna say third world. <laughs> I hope we have international viewers. Get them. Oh, I mean, I've, I've heard the food isn't that great, but you know, uh, like, have you, you have you ever been to a country where you have to drive on the opposite side of the road? Um. No, I think I we might think have so. to do that. I think I we might think have so. to do that because, like, like in my mind, it's hard to like. It's easy to understand how it works, yeah. but it's still hard to conceptualize in my mind. Train how, your brain. To yeah, do it. yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be. I don't know. Like, I would be. Does BMW do those uh, European pickup things? Oh, like if you buy a car, you get to pick up your car out and there. Spend like a week or two out there. Oh yeah, you're gonna buy a car. No, I thought you were gonna buy another M. <laughs> Just take me with you. You're make <laughs> Just take me with you. <laughs> nah, you got to buy one, dude. But they do do that. They do. So when you buy your Porsche, then we'll go. Because <laughs> they do it, too. They do it, too. Got All right. It. So It'll we're tied. Station wagon one out of two for both of us. <laughs> now let's go into our next question. All right. <clears throat> so 
Ken Block's wife is finally parting ways with some of his old memorabilia. Broken bumpers, hoods, doors, crashed up wheels, race suits. And those proceeds are going to go to 43Org uh, Charity, which is going to help impoverished areas get into motorsports. Okay, RIP. Awesome. Yeah, yeah awesome. awesome. Great yeah. place. Look it up if you guys get a chance. They just launched on 4-3. Okay, so nice. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they have their stuff up on eBay. And you know these types of things interest me a lot. Yep. With seven days left to bid, how much is his race suit currently at on bids? Ooh, multiple choice me. There's no way I can do this off the top of my head. Okay. eBay, too. That's okay. E- yeah, eBay Motors. I'm happy they did. They went with eBay and not like cars and bids or bring a trailer. I would have been mad about that. I mean, it's not a whole car, so. Dude, there's a sim being sold on bring you know a trailer. Touche. All right. You're, yeah. you're, all right. You got me. That's right. I, I completely forgot about that. You're right. <laughs> I did see that post. It was yeah. wild. Dude, I didn't think it was real. Uh, and I was like, oh, my God. This is something we would post again. Yeah. And then, no, it's Don't real. But anyway, go for a job, it. man. All right. <laughs> all right. A, over 2,000. B, over 4,000. C, over 8,000. And D, over 10,000. All right. I'm going to split hairs and say that over 2,000 encompasses. Uh, all right. <laughs> as soon as it hits the next one, it cut off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> I forgot I need to caveat those a little bit better. <laughs> so over 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 8,000. 2, 4, 8, 10. 2, 4, 8, 10. Yes. Okay. For a suit... Owned, ah, oh, man, this is hard, man. This is like total shot in the dark. Because honestly, for a good race suit, for like, for a suit that Ken Block would probably wear, two thousand is probably what it would cost. I, <laughs> I don't own a race suit yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's probably what it would cost. Yeah. Maybe even more. For charity, though, charity things tend to go really high. Oh man, I wish you had like a two, four thousand, eight thousand, two million, and then I would have been like, all right, two million is <laughs> probably the right answer. Oh uh, man, eight thousand. I mean, it has seven days. Maybe it does go for seven days. Million. I don't know how long listings are are th- on eBay. I don't know if it's thirty days or two weeks. A fortnight. I don't know, man. 4,000. Oh, yeah. 2,000 would make sense, though, for seven days left. Bidding happens. 4,000, 6,000, 8,000. Trying to gauge your reaction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were still mulling stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I am going to go. With seven days left, assuming it's going to hit a pretty high price point, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Final answer. Final answer. Two thousand. The correct answer is over two thousand. Ah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. That thing. That's probably going to hit like twenty. I don't. I don't know. It, it, it was kind of. Sh- Okay, there was two parts of this. Okay. Two parts that when I was looking at this and kind of like going like, okay, like this is interesting. I really wanted to see what everything was going for. Right. So one part of it was like, okay, is it going to go super high? The stuff that's on there is literally broken bumpers and random parts. Really? Like, yeah. I was kind of like, ah, oh, man, like, can you really auction that? Well, then it is Ken Block. And then you're like, it, it's really weird. It's a fucked up wheel. It was a pinion. Really? Like uh, an actual pinion from the Hoonicorn, I guess. But I was kind of like, well, who's. Like, what are you going to do with that, really? You know what I mean? All due respect, I wouldn't. That's that's kind of what I mean. It was kind of like, well, who's really bidding on this stuff? And then when I saw, like, how much everything was at, it really wasn't as high as you kind of think it would be. It makes sense with, like, what the items are. Because this is going to be like. Like garage memorabilia, right, 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 right. Whereas I don't know, I think it'd be pretty cool to show up to like a track day in a Ken Block suit, 
well, but I'd have to do lose they have some weight. expiration dates. How, like, how old can you keep using them? I've never had a suit. I don't know. Oh, let us I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Educate yeah. us, please. <laughs> I would say seats do. So maybe those do. Yeah, because they had a 2015 and 2016. Yeah, so maybe they do expire. Maybe. So it is going to be memorabilia stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be sort of like diehard WRC guys. Diehard Jim Conna guys. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Which the I'm, pinion was going for like 400 bucks. And But it's broken, right? No. Or it looks, it's a working it looked, pinion. It looked like a r- working pinion. It it's was like, just oh, it's kind of, That's kind of a flex. Like, I got Ken Block's pinion in the back. Like, I, I guess. Yeah. If, are you going to use it, though? Like, is it? Do you believe in ghosts? No. No, you, at all? No. Really? Really? At all? No. Why not? Prove it. You prove it. Well, that's the whole thing. I'm not the one making an extraordinary claim. So You, you are make, ma- you're, you're making the extraordinary claim that they don't exist. I can fly. Prove it. You prove that I can't. All right. <laughs> That's where my argument comes from. <laughs> well, no, that that doesn't that that leaves us at a stalemate. Cuz cuz uh flying is something crazy if I can fly, right? That'd be crazy. Yeah. Super crazy, super white out of the normal of what we know. Right. To be facts. You're defying physics. Right. Wait, let me tell you this though. By the rules of physics in education, energy cannot be destroyed. Right. Right, so but but we are energy. In a way, depending on how you define it, yeah, I guess. So. No, I no, mean, en- energy as it is defined we're mathematically, using it, right? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. Using it. As it's is, expelling with heat, right? And so when we die, where does that energy go? I don't think about it as when we die because we have biology, mechanical systems, right? Right. That we export temperatures, heats, all this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. As we die, that temperature dissipates, and that dissipating is us dying. That's our mechanical function ceasing to work, and the, all that energy is dissipating out. That's justified. Do you believe in aliens? Um, <laughs> do I believe the aliens? Like when I see pictures and people go, "No, like, oh, I no, saw no, the no, green no, guy," no, 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 or do no, no, I that's think not it's the plausible question. That's that not, they're out there? Yeah, yeah, that's the question. I think just by the numbers and math, it's plausible that they get out there. Yeah. Why, by the numbers in math, do you not believe in ghosts? Um. Well, what numbers in math could there be? I mean, I mean, for I numbers ju- I just, in math on. I mean, I mean, because you're you're justifying like that when you die, your inner your energy dissipates, right. right? Like that, it dissolves and distributes somehow, like through whatever dirt, yeah, whatever heat, it may whatever, be, whatever everything, yeah, right, yeah. So why can't you apply the same logic to? to ghosts as you do with aliens knowing that mathematically right energy has to continue to exist in some way even if it dissipated it's going somewhere right but we know we more or less know where it's going right we can take temperature readings we can take electrical signals in the brain readings right yeah yeah um in space we can take readings for how large and ever expanding the universe is right yeah so, because we can't check and verify everything that's out there, there are questions mathematically that it could be out there, right? Versus us, it's more smaller scale. It, we kind of see where everything more or less is going. So, I believe what you believe. <laughs> You're just trying to <laughs> grill me? <laughs> I, be- I honestly, but I do, like, it's this, uh, I forgot that we're an automotive podcast for a second. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I just thought Dude, I would ask like that weed in that whiskey or like what's going on over here, man. It's a, sho- a total shower thought, man. It's a total shower thought. But anyway, let's get to our next question. This All is right. going to be a long episode God for those it. of you watching. For those of you listening, I'm sorry or you're welcome. I don't know. Uh, but here we go. Uh, next question. And that would be me. So I'm now two out of three. You're one out of two. You got to hit this one to tie the comp. This company is crushing a land speed record setting car from their museum. Ooh, okay. Multiple choice me. Ford, Honda, Toyota, Chevrolet. Interesting. Okay. 
this one did not catch to me at all. So my best bet is to kind of throw a shot in the dark. And I'm trying to think what could be pulled out of the museum of each of these. That they'd be willing to crush. You know, I didn't think about it to be willing to crush. I just thought to be willing or to be able to break the record. Oh, oh, that's right. Too. As that's far a, as like good aerodynamics to... and stuff. Yeah. And maybe because I don't know enough about all of them, I think I'm going to go forward because I'm thinking GT40 with their, you know, aerodynamics and whatnot would have the best shot at breaking a land speed record. Okay. Final answer. Final answer, Ford. The correct answer is Toyota. Really? Yeah, Toyota Damn. is destroying a 2003 Prius. Oh, that's not a museum of the beast. What the <laughs> heck? <laughs> it, set, it set a land speed record in 2004 for hybrids at 130 oh, miles per hour. <laughs> I got suckered on this one. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, it's uh, honestly the stock top speed for a Prius is 106 miles per hour. Oh and this gosh. did 130. So it wasn't that much of a break a record then. It was a hybrid. So they actually started the hybrid category for land speed records. We need to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to own a hybrid. I'm sorry. We can do it. <laughs> yeah. We can do it. <laughs> yeah. We can do 130 miles. That's slow, that's man. Nothing. We can yeah. beat that. If that's a speed that I've hit, it's not a land speed even record. If it, even if it doesn't um, stand for very long, just the fact that we can beat Toyota. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I, I like this. Right? We need to find records that we can beat easily in the automotive world. There has to be a ton. That w Maybe even a Guinness World Record. Okay. You know what the type of clout that we'd get if we got a Guinness World Record? Well, It'd be completely we insignificant. These, we don't know what these records are. It could be like most times stalled out leaving a car meet. I would beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I'm ha if I, as long as I get that certificate, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm good. I don't care what it is. We should, though. There's got to be shit that we can beat pretty easily. There's a guy. I remember, like, there was a Guinness World Record show for a little while back in yeah. the day. You remember? There was a guy that was, like, the Guinness World Record for most coconuts for most broken records. with your hand. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's, like, a bunch of ridiculous records. I think there was one for, like, longest distance of, like, squeezing milk out of your eye. I actually... So you can I do don't it? Remember the, no, no. I don't remember the <laughs> show... But that, as soon as you said that, I remembered that, that exact fucking video. That was a Guinness like, World Record show, man. It was, it was like Fear Factor before Fear Factor. It was such a weird show. But um, there's so many random records. You know what? That's on my bucket list. Beat a, re beat a record. Guinness World Record specifically. Guinness World Record, okay. It, like, it doesn't even have to be automotive. But I think for the, the show's sake, it should, it should be automotive. All right. Would you want to break a record? I'm down. Try, yeah. But it's not something that you're like really, really passionate about. No. No, it's not on your bucket list. No. What's the top thing on your bucket list? I don't know. I'm not sure. You don't you don't have a bucket list? Like I wrote you have one that you I wrote don't, down. I don't write down a bucket okay. list. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so depressing. Dear it's like, diary. <laughs> it's like Tony this made fun of my bucket <laughs> list today. <laughs> My ne item on my bucket list to beat Tony. <laughs> no, I don't have an actual written out bucket list, but they're like throughout your life. You come up with things that you really, really want to do that are not necessarily obtainable at the moment. Sure. There's a bunch of those, but I don't think I have like a ranking for them for like a top you, but nothing stands out as like the top thing right now. It'll change, but right now, right, right now. Yeah. Um, Shoot, I think right right now, my bucket list is honestly to meet a ghost. No, to <laughs> to <laughs> um, it would probably be to finish the Mustang and kind of like beat a much better performing car. So that's again, a very obtainable. It's what? very obtainable, but yeah. it's like that's like my been my main focus. I've been researching my suspension setup for a while. Yeah. And, you know, the Mustangs I like, they're not prevalent at our track meets, okay. or our tracks. You know what I mean? They're not prevalent because they don't perform super great. Yeah. So I want to go out there. 
you're gonna be one of you're those. gonna be done with that goal before you reach forty. Oh, I better be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the whole point. That's what yeah, I mean. Like that's point. not a bucket list item. Like you're, you're you need to dream bigger, Tony. You need to dream bigger. Man. Oh, there's there's bigger dreams, but <laughs> that's the that's the focus right that's now. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's the focus. That's right where now. I'm at. All right, future next stuff is future stuff. Next question. Here we go. That's you. We're finished. We're finished. You won. I won. Yes. Wait, isn't we don't do five? It's three. We do three. Oh shit! <laughs> what if you? Damn. <laughs> I was ready to go. Let's do another one. <laughs> Let's do another one. Oh man, I didn't even. We we need. We had to declare a victor beforehand, but here we are. All right, I'm yeah. back in it. So now I'm two away. Yes. Which is good. So now we go into our next segment. Sorry, you wasted those questions. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use them next week <laughs> you know or what? in two it weeks. Was because we had a guest last week and we were going to give them the motorhead. Tag. Oh, so we came yeah. up with five. So we came, oh, that's what it was. It completely yeah. threw me off. I have no idea what we're doing on this podcast, and, no. but I hope you do. Um, our next segment, as I described earlier, is our April Fool's podcast. So in this one, what we're going to do, and honestly, April Fool's was my... Second favorite holiday next to Halloween. Um, I've always enjoyed April Fool's in one way or another at the expense of the homies. But this year, we took a bit of a break since we're doing April Fool's pretty much every week. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So what we decided to do is that now we're going to rate the April Fool's that came up on our radar uh, on April 1st. And some of them kind of lagged a little behind and came up a little after. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And so the rating system we're going to give it is 87 octane, 89 octane, and the ultimate, the peak, the best of all 91 octane. So now uh, to kick us off, uh, we're going to be looking at them here. We're going to describe yes. them to you because putting them all on the podcast would ruin us. Yeah, um, although before we get started, I did want to do two things. Okay. So, one, you get a uh, lawnmower, a, a gas can sitting in my garage for a year and a half going in the lawnmower rating if you posted that you were selling your car on April Fool's. Oh, not even that. <laughs> not even that, dude. No, no. Although I am guilty of that. I've done it once. Oh, Okay. I did well, do that. Yeah, I do that. I did, but I am deserving <laughs> <laughs> of the punishment. Yeah. No. Absolutely so if, not. If you did that for April Fools, I'm sorry. There's no octane in that rating. No. no not at all. No, not at all. No octane. You aren't even. You're not diesel. You are not uh, corn fuel. No. You are EV. That's what you are. <laughs> You, you are. lost your octane. That's <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> you, are, yeah. you have no octane. So, oh, man. So for you guys that did that and for the companies who are automotive but did not participate, boo. Don't take yourself so seriously. Oh, man. We didn't participate. I mean, we participate every day. Uh, that's true. That's and true. we did have some ideas that <laughs> was going to be very stupid that we might have to do later. But <laughs> I know we, we saved them for regular time. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. Like uh, a lot of the bigger companies didn't participate this time. No. Like what the hell? Dodge. I remember he, from, they had a big one last year. I think Ford had some or maybe they didn't just make it on our radar because there was a lot of stuff that you I didn't know, catch. There was some of the major automotive brands like Ford and BMW because we got to make fun of one of our one of ours yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, for, yeah 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 and both of them were just flat i specifically looked for them really yeah, yeah i looked for bmw too i was a little disappointed also i it's wasn't like, surprised oh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> ford didn't come with shit either what are you talking about dear diary tony fucking talk more shit <laughs> <laughs> it's a journal <laughs> All right. Well, let's hit it off. So now we're going to go with the first one. It's already we're already looking at it here. And by we, I mean, Tony and I um, describe this to us, Tony. All right. So this one says like uh, uh, breaking news, eight, six cup to become spec wheel to wheel series in 2025. Announce Sebastian uh, Vettel as competitor. And they put a like a, a model car with disassembled parts <laughs> yeah and they have like this crude x on 86 cup 
or the logo, and yeah. then they have eighty six cup written up top. Yeah, they they really <laughs> went low effort on the on the actual edit. You know what? But that's okay because I believe this is the only track um, group that I saw make one. Oh. I think you're right. I didn't catch yeah. one either. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and I and I, I like this one because it wasn't just that post. They had, you know, you scroll and it had multiple pictures where they took competitors from their series making fake quotes about um, uh, Sebastian competing with them. Yeah. And, like, I thought that was a great way to engage, like, the rest of their competitors and stuff. Yeah. I like this. It's a bit of a stretch. I'm going to say... I am disappointed in in the edit. All right. Well, I kind of I mean, wish they would have made an actual logo. Octane <laughs> articles every. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying my edits are great. I'm just saying like they put breaking and then made the picture in paint. Mm. So okay, so what do you give it? What do you give it? 87, 89, 91. So, I think this one is a solid 89 because they did put effort, but. It really didn't make me laugh all that much as far as like making it really silly. Yeah. And uh, I think silly has to be part of April Fool's. It can't be too serious. It can't just be fake to be fake. Yeah. And it, yeah. So yeah. I like the effort. I, I'm going to, I'm going to give it an 89 octane rating for this one. You know what? I'm in, I'm in line with that. Okay. I'm in all line right, with that. We I, agree. <laughs> yeah. It's not 87. It's not trash. No. I like it. They tried. The picture is tough, but they threw Sebastian in there. We know that he's looking for different seats right now, so it's relevant to the current environment. Yeah, I'm, I'm 89. 89. 89. All 89. right, 89. So, SoCal 86 Cup on Instagram, you got an 89 out of 91 octane rating. Yes. <laughs> out of the three. <laughs> Let's move into the next one. <laughs> what are we looking at here? All right, so this is Apex Wheels. Okay. So Apex Wheels developed their fake post product okay um and essentially they developed this wheel that is also part of the tire and they made it in carbon fiber in like a monochrome um i think there was like a rainbow metallic like you know where they heat the titanium metal up you know yeah yeah and then they put the longest description of this in their post it is ridiculous how long this thing was when i saw it i was like somebody Okay. At first, I was like, somebody really put some thought into this, and I was like, yeah. no, nah, they use Chat GPT. There's no fucking uh, way. There's no uh, way they fucking uh, did, yeah. went through and typed all of this shit. <laughs> but the photo edit is really good. It's a big beefy article. I actually got a little kick out of looking at all of them. I wanted to post every single picture on our little screenshots here, but I was yeah. like, oh fuck, there's too many of these. <laughs> yeah. So this is a wheel and tire combo. Yes, all built into one. <laughs> <laughs> Carbon fiber tires and yeah. <laughs> titanium tires. Titanium tire. Very, it has the, the classic titanium the burn. like bleed into burn, right? Yeah, yeah yep. look to it. You know what? I, I really like this because it is, it is, there's like 10% of it that's believable. You know there are people that fell for this. There, there are people that look at us like, dang, what did they do? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And honestly, like, it's one of those things where it's like, it'd be nice if it was possible. So I do like that part of it, too, to not have to recycle tires. Or you're recycling wheels that, as often as you do tires. Yeah, yeah, you can look at it that way. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, this is good. Very, very great edit on the picture. Oh, it looks great. It looks yeah, really good. Really good edit on the picture. Oh, I also own There's a Apex golf ball. Wheels. There's a golf ball. That's what that one is, I think, actually, the, the oh, white one. Oh, so they have golf titanium ball. golf ball. There's like an Carbon orange. Carbon fiber. Oh, <laughs> there's different colors. For I me, like this one. It's a 91. I think I agree with you. Oh. Unless unless some of the future ones that we look at actually changes changes this, I think this is a ninety one also. This is a ninety one. Great right. edit, great concept. Uh, definitely April Fooly. Uh, really, only fools would fall for this. Right. Yeah. Did you fall for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it looked. It, I looked at it. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And yeah. I, I just the long description is kind of what got me. I was like, "All right." They put the extra into it. Yeah. Yeah. Hoping yeah. somebody was gonna read the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm. I'm. I'm about this one. This one. This one's good. This one's 91 for sure. All right. Apex Shout out to Wheels. Apex Wheels. 91 on the April Fool scale. 
Moving on to the next one, Maximum Protection Pro Control Shades. Yes, so this is Cooper Tire. Okay. Um, I'd like you to go ahead and pan another picture. Okay. And another picture. Tire hoops. Yep. And a rubber duck. The all-season rubber duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, again, photo editing, pretty good. Nothing too fancy in it, right? Right. No, I said this is but, pretty good. But this one actually made me laugh, like, out loud. I actually saw this, and I started <laughs> laughing. I was like, all right, this is fucking great. Yeah. So, I know it was a little early. There wasn't a whole lot beefy on the article part, right? Yeah. But for me, this was an instant 91 for me. You, I love this one. They didn't. They made no effort on the caption, no. right? So point deduction there. But pro control shades. That's this is where I'm confused. What There's do they a tire. do? Zoom into the frame. It's a tire. Oh, okay. I see it now. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. see it now. Then they have tire hoop earrings, which honestly, this is one of those where it's not that much of a stretch, which no. is which is what I like. I like when there's sort of like some semblance of reality in their post, and then I the all bet season. You we can find duck. that on Etsy. The oh, the tire hoop <laughs> the earrings. Tire hoop oh, earrings? for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like tire hoop rings. For sure, there's tire hoop earrings. Have you ever had your ears pierced? Mm -mm. No. Would you? Mm, probably not. Okay. Not a jewelry person. Not a okay. What about tire hoops though? <laughs> <laughs> i tried watches i couldn't even stick to wearing one of those oh man and the all really no watches i have a couple of nice watches i have a the galaxy smart watch i bought brand new too yeah and, and it just I doesn't just, i don't wear them it, oh, matter of fact man. i think it's in that backpack over there <laughs> wow okay I haven't charged it in months well if you want to donate a rolex i'm more than happy to take it <laughs> if i all had one of those <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all season rubber duck i think i'm with you 91 this is the 91. Yeah, even though there wasn't a big description, if it makes me laugh, 100% 91. Yeah, That's although, the whole point of it. The all-season rubber duck is really just season. It's just silly, right? But it made me laugh. Yeah. It's as simple as that for me. It, it yeah. made me laugh. I will say this one's edging 89 for me. Okay. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go 91 because there's three pictures. I, I'm about it. I'm about it. All right. All right. All right. Next one. New valve stem caps now available by Discount Tire. Yes. <laughs> and this one, they edited uh, one of their workers, Kyle, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Kyle uh, valve cap. And they just kind of edited them right on top of the valve stem. So it looks like a, the sales guy is it edited onto the valve stem. Yes. Um, this definitely looks like one of our edits for sure. Dang, don't say that. I was about to talk <laughs> crap on that edit, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you still can. This is very, it, it, it really just looks like a zoomed in, uh, a zoomed in picture of the valve stem. They got some text and it's literally just a crop with the guy stuck with his top half on there. But it's pretty well done. I would say that the, the text and kind of the edit is kind of weak. But the 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 guy has the valve stem. That's it's pretty good. This is it's 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 a sigh, right? It's like a huh. It is a sigh. It's not it's not a chuckle. It's a sigh. This is a this is an eighty nine for me. Eighty nine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, because it's silly. So I'm gonna asterisk this one a little bit because it's silly. And I and I think April Fool's should be silly, right? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get into 89, but this one's bordering 87 for me. It's bordering 87 for you. Just, Why? Why? I think it's because of the sigh. I was like, eh. like yeah. I was able to tell it was an April Fool pose, mostly because it's just a dude cropped halfway on a valve stem. You know what? It's so simple that I was just kind of like, ah. You 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 kind of got me a little bit because it's it's uh. There's nothing believable about it, right? No. There's, there's no joke. We don't know who Kyle is. Maybe yeah. if they would have chose somebody we knew even. Yeah. Like a notable figure to throw on a valve stem to fuck with them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. This Maybe I'm in 87, actually. Now that I'm talking I'm talking myself deeper. <laughs> and, 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 and the more we talk about it, the more I feel... And the more I start thinking about the other ones that we've already rated. Yeah. I think this one is an 87. It is an 87. Discount tire... Please continue to try, but this one was an 87. Yeah. yeah. I will want to say, though, 
looking through Discount Tire's Instagram. Funny guy. Oh, really? He makes some funny stuff. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. That's he even makes more stuff. disappointing. That that's this is why. What <laughs> that, yeah, that's why I was like, oh, like this is their April Fool's one, but they made some funny posts. So I was like, come on, they there, can do it. There's a qu- there. there's an SNL quote that always sticks out in my head, especially for the stuff that we post. There's a hundred flights of frights. They're not all going to be bangers. Right? Okay. So if he's funny mm-hmm. elsewhere, okay, good. He is funny elsewhere. Yeah. So I did want to make sure I mentioned that right. the, the account is pretty entertaining. But we do want to say this one sucks. But this one sucks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 87, 87. Game, all right. <laughs> Move on to the next one. Ford Performance. All right. So this one is of their... Um, they call it a super van or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that EV van that they do the uh, the the hill climbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're playing the EV, pretty much saying that they're going to be taking on Antarctica in 2025. So I'm a, can I give you my rating before we discuss it? I think I already know it, but I'm, I'm assuming it's the same as mine. But all right, 87. It's an 87. Really? Absolutely yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the van is fucking cool. It looks like a cool. It honestly just looks as a, like a cool ass post. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like a sure. funny post at all. Yeah, yeah. You it's, really, a hum- it's a humble brag. It is. Right? Yes, yeah. yes. Oh yeah. my god, there it is. Yeah, it is. you're not yeah. making like you're not making fun of yourself enough. You're, no. There's no, there's no self deprecation. There's no, uh, yeah. Like this isn't. I, there was no April Fools in here for me. I know no. Antarctica. You're not gonna make that happen. But no. Uh, no. Yeah, this one was a very easy 87 Ford performance. Thank you for participating, <laughs> but it is a participation trophy this year. We yeah. hope you can reach out to us to collaborate. We'll get you we'll get you back on track. Don't I worry. mean, and let's talk about the picture, right? <laughs> Unless their editing person is like the greatest wizard of all time. This is really just a picture of the car in the snow. Like somewhere. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it is. I honestly think it is. Like this edit, the way the shadows sit, the way the car is sitting, I don't think it's actually an edit of the car in you Antarctica. Just, they were just at a snow They were area. just in a setting. Unloaded from the trailer. Exactly. Take a picture. Yeah. yeah. Well, just say it's from Antarctica. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Not, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, this one was a definitely an 87. 87. Okay. Yeah. I'm, sur- I'm not surprised. Short and sweet for that one. Yeah, yeah. Short and sweet for that one. Hennessy Performance. All right, so this one is uh, you guys all seen those? Oh, was it a Mercedes that had like the two rear wheels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? There's, are... They've done a few cars that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Hennessy uh, edited this photo of a truck, the Hennessy Performance truck, which is going to be a eight by eight with twelve hundred horsepower, and they kind of photoshopped the bed of the truck extended out with the extra wheels in the rear. Um. This one for me, it, it did. Oh, and it did also make a mention that they will also have it available for the uh, Raptor for the next 30 seconds. Okay. So this one for me, a little bit higher than Ford Performance. Yeah. But for me, it was still kind of an 87. Yeah. Mostly because I honestly, I could see Hennessy doing some shit like that anyways. like. But then also that gives them points. Does right? it? Yeah, it, it gives them points, but it'd be... It's it's very serious still though too. Yeah, it's sort of like deep. It's a deep cut. Maybe, maybe because they already have six by sixes. So going eight by eight is it really that much more? It is the equivalent of beating Google Maps by thirty seconds, <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> not thirty minutes. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm with you on that. I I feel that. I, I, feel I think that for, for me, sure. it just they didn't go far enough and it does make it seem like it's a little bit too serious better than ford performance for sure 100% that was, that was way 100% more Ed, serious the edit is great edit is very good right but i don't think it hit 89 okay really this one was an 89 for me this one was an 89 for yeah, you really yeah okay. this one wasn't 89 for me although but it's 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 like it's like barely getting into 89 because I do like the edit. The edit is great. I like that they are playing into what their strengths are, creating sort of ridiculous cars, high horsepower cars. But I do feel like this was sort of like last minute effort. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, the, the effort isn't super huge on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So you, and yours is 87. Mine's is 87. So that yeah. splits us as 88. Where do we land? 
I mean, I don't, I don't think we have to agree on all of them. What? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. This is probably the first one where we're split. I, I think we're just split on this one. Yeah, this one is more. This I think, one for me is a higher eighty-seven. You know what's happening here? Huh? Because I'm, I'm empathizing. You feel bad? It's a pity eighty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know what it's like to like, to like last minute be like, shit, I got to post something today. I got to come up with an idea. I got to come up with the graphic. I got to put an article behind it. Like, let's do it. And then it just kind of flops. Yeah. So we're going to stay split on this one, but I do feel your 87. Got it. I do feel your 87. I do feel your 87. All right. Now we're moving on to Makita and they've got a cart posted. Yes, so I, my my algorithm's ruined forever. I don't know, I <laughs> I don't know what's real anymore, John. <laughs> what is real anyway? You I, know? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is for sure. So Makita came up and they got their new product lines going. Um, could you scroll one picture real quick to see if I have the other ones? I do not. So let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> so they posted three pictures. It was a quad a motorcycle, and a go-kart, all Makita brand. And if you look really closely in the very back, you can see one of those big slide-in batteries behind the seats. Yep. Um, photo edits were great, yep. detailed. They actually looked really good. Um, short description on them, really fun. I liked that I saw it, and it made me take a double take, like, wait a minute, like, Almost to the point where it was real, and I was yeah. like, "No, it's not." Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> so they almost got me. Um, for me, it's ninety-one. If Makita came out with a go kart, a battery-powered go kart, mm-hmm. any other day of the year, yeah, that yeah, makes sense. It, yeah, no, <laughs> it, it one hundred percent. It got me like this by like this much. I was like, wait a minute. What? Yeah. Yeah. 100% man. 100%. This one is great. Again, playing to what they actually already do um, in the car community, kind of influencing the car community. Very believable. The photo edit is yeah, ve- great. Very great. believable. They've, they've even put, they put a shadow they put a shadow to their gore card. Coming from go-kart. the photo editor, he's yeah, like, oh, exactly. my God. Like, I'm like, I would not bother with a shadow. Get out of here. I would never bother, bother with a shadow. Dude, no. there's a reflection. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, they went out of their way to make sure that this looked real. Any other day of the year, I would believe Makita's coming out with a go-kart. More, I would more so believe that it's a toy go-kart and not a uh, go-kart like this because this looks like a side-by-side. Side. steal my line. What was your line? I was like, I was... I thought you were going to say, I'd more believe if it was coming from Milwaukee because there's a fucking cult for them. <laughs> <laughs> Makita's, Makita's got a following, too. Not like you met. Yeah, oh, Milwaukee. Coming from the construction, there's some uh, Milwaukee die hard. Like die hard. I'm talking shirt, hat, tool bags, tools, for real? snips, fucking everything. <laughs> wow. I've never heard of people wearing tool gear before. Like, yeah, that's it's like the Ferrari guys that don't own Ferraris. <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, these guys own ev- – they buy everything. Radio, flashlight, whatever, as long as it's Milwaukee. Yeah. This one hit your radar, and that's the only reason I didn't fall for it. But I also would have fallen for this one. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel so bad now. There's a percentage of me that would have said, ooh, I'm a Kita go-kart. He did so – whoever did it, he or, he or she did so well on the photo edit, I it it got me. He's, so He, she, or they – he, she, or they. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, dude, yeah, this is a 91 for me. Same here. 91. It's a 91 for, yeah. For sure. Good job, Makita. Good yeah, job, absolutely. Makita. Oh, man. All right. Let's go to our next. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know your rating. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Th- this one was simple and perfect. Oh, that's why I love it. it, it that's why I love it. Boom. Yes. Chef's or- kiss, all that good stuff. O'Reilly Auto Parts came out with Smell Clean. Brake Cleaner Cologne. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Clean uh- edit. The proportions are right. Everything looks good. I Honestly, I, it, I couldn't do... I wouldn't do this. You wouldn't? I wouldn't do the edit as clean as they did it. 
God. Because they've got the perspective right on all the text. They've got like I would have. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would because what we're looking at is we're looking at a cologne bottle An that's isometric actually isometric view of it. I, exactly, and I would have put it front facing view with text straight up because yeah. it's too hard to do that. And yeah, to angle it, the get angle, the depth yeah, going stretch for it. it. Yeah, no, it, it, the edit looks good, but at the same time, it's not over. Like they weren't flexing, flexing on yeah. us. Yeah, so, like, check out my photo editing skills. Yeah, you know? and they Simple, just got clean and on funny. the top of the picture. It just says smell clean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which it wor- it works in multiple ways, right? Because it is cleaner. a cleaner, right? Yeah, so yeah. it cleans, but at the same time, you're not going to smell good if you actually <laughs> yep. <laughs> Axe body spray vibes, dude. What would have been perfect and maybe doing too much, whatever, but was putting the little red straw at the cologne thing. Oh, the little skinny straw. Just add the dude. little skinny straw out of there. Hey, O'Reilly Auto Parts, can you hire my boy real quick? I mean, he's Ooh. got some great ideas. You know, do you, you know, honestly, that would have put it over the oh, edge. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd have died if that I saw That would have put it straw. over the edge. <laughs> that little straw would have put it over the edge, man. Over the edge. That would have been perfect. But honestly, this is a clear 91 for me. Yes. Clear 91. Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were all shocked by your decision when you laughed as soon as you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first one that's actually made me laugh out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, clear 91, nothing to debate. Although, you know, your idea, I think, with the straw puts it over the edge. That doesn't discount what they did here. Yes, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but now that you've put that in my mind, I'm like... <laughs> That would have been perfect, man. Perfect. You got you. Be, did you comment on this? Like, where's the straw? No. Now I'm going to though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. O'Reilly, clear ninety one for you. I'm never going to AutoZone again. You, you got. You get my business from here on out. Uh, oh my <laughs> god. We just so. <laughs> This was a surprise one. All right, so this I one? did not tell John about this one earlier. <laughs> so this is the first time he's seen the graphic here. <laughs> so okay, okay. <laughs> can I can I just I mean before we even finish, this might be the top like the winner of like all time ninety one octane. The wow, it's great. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, "Ah, oh, I have the, to add this in." <laughs> you know what? I don't. I don't know how this got past corporate. <laughs> so for for those of you listening right now, thinking, "What the hell is this guy talking about?" PB Blaster put up a post, and their April Fool's post says, "New finger blaster." <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> And the graphic shows a rusted up <laughs> bolt on one side and a hand coming in. And it looks like the PB blaster is uh, in the sleeve. Yeah. And somehow through the glove, there's a yellow tip and it's just squirting right on that. It's inappropriately like, yeah. squirting <laughs> right on that nut. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much like innuendo in this. <laughs> there's a bunch. <laughs> I'm so, I'm very shocked. The graphic on top is slanted. Says yeah. new finger blaster. It's like Spider Man vibes. Like the thing, the, the web. The yeah, web the blaster. webbing yeah, blasters yeah. coming out of the finger, index finger. It's a glove that sprays PB blaster. Uh, and the and the the caption says stuck nut question mark finger blast it. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sad that I didn't see this on April Fools. Oh, I my. didn't see this on April Fools either. I saw this at work and I had to keep myself from laughing out loud at work. Oh my. Can we shut down Instagram from now on? I think <laughs> I think PB Blaster won. G can't oh, I can't you know what? Like I know that ninety one octane isn't the limit. Ninety three is available in some states, not ours. States that we forget exist. Can we give this one a 93 octane? You know what? Can we just give this one a 100 octane? It's race glass. It's it's race race glass. Glass. Race (laughs) glass, race gas. Yeah. (laughs) This is race gas. This is race gas. Finger blaster. Or E85 or something. Everybody listening to us right now is like, what a bunch of perverts. (laughs) (laughs) But it sounds like they haven't been finger blasted in a while. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Oh, God. Wait. 
this is a tangent. Were you a Tom Green fan growing up? Mm, I don't think I. Re- he didn't really ever hit my radar. You never. Until Freddy way got later. fingered. You never watched that movie. I did. I think I watched that once. And yes. were you about it or not about it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This. I feel like this humor's right up his alley. But honestly, for me, it's not so much the act as so much the fact that a corporate company is coming out and not taking themselves seriously at all. Right. The edit is fantastic. The font they used for everything is like, yeah, fun, loud. Yeah. It's great. Caption on point, stuck nut, finger blast it. Great, 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 great. Um, I would not believe this one second. Oh, no. As soon no, as I read no it. No way. No way. But the fact that I laughed so hard makes up for that completely. Yeah. Race gas. Race gas. We, Absolutely. They made me introduce another <laughs> another rating system. This is race gas 100%. Yeah. And this one was great because, uh, like I said, my my algorithm is destroyed forever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's real. Yeah. When I saw it posted, I actually didn't think it was from the company. I thought it was like a meme page or something else. Dude. Once I saw it was from the company, I was like, no way. Like, Dude, 100%. This is great. You you hit it right on the head, the the fact that that would even cross your mind, like makes this race gas. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, man, this is this is a great one. This is a great one. I know there's a community of you out there thinking that's not that funny, but to me, I think this one's fantastic. I don't even want to go through the rest of them now. <laughs> 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 but we have to. All right, Jegs has made the ra- radar. Uh-huh. Jegs performance. So Jeg's performance took a twist on an old joke. I think that we've all used or heard or had our old dads here, which checks out for Jeg's. Okay. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so they have Jeg's muffler bearings, increase performance, regulate back pressure, and lower exhaust temperatures. Muffler bearings. Yes. Have you never heard that? Wonder. I've never heard of that really? one. Really? Yeah. I thought it was as common as blinker fluid. Um, you know what I'm stuck on? The April 1st special banner. Okay. It's a little like it's a little too obvious. Giving it away. Yeah, yeah giving it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they could have pulled back on that. Okay. And they have a, a description pretty much to get ready for a game changer introducing the Jegs muffler bearings, right? So muffler bearings have been done before. Yes, it, it is definitely pulling on an old joke. It's like if somebody did a blinker fluid one, at least for me, at least for me. You know what? Like we should we should have put finger blaster at the end. <laughs> <laughs> this one is an 87 for me. For, so that's kind of where I was gonna go because it's a recycled one. Yeah, you're you're it's it's like it's like a com- it's like a comedian that bites jokes. So O'Reilly's could have went blinker fluid, right? Yeah, but they did brake cleaner cologne. Yep, they uh, Jags did muffler bearings, and again for me, I've heard muff- muffler bearings a shit ton of times. It's fake part. Blah, blah, right, blah. right, right. So to me, it was like recycled stuff. The edit's great. It's good. I, I appreciate them trying, but this is like a this is a boomer post. Yeah, this is a boomer post. but also Jegs is a is that's probably their their demo, right? Like classic cars. Yeah. So in that sense, it makes sense. Not feeling True. it though. Not no. feeling yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, no. It's 80, an 80, 87 and for me. You know, they had a a tough act to follow. That sucks. <laughs> that, that sucks yeah, for them. Yeah, that yeah, sucks yeah. for them. You know what? You know what, Jags? Like, you get my sympathy, but you don't get a better rating. <laughs> no. 87. <laughs> 87. All right. Snap on. All right. Comes up. Is that is this a toothbrush? That is a toothbrush, sir. Okay, a snap on toothbrush. Yep. A fit uh snap on official posts uh, socket to tooth decay will help you clean your grill. And they edited a, I'm pretty sure that's a screwdriver or maybe one of their file bases, and they put a toothbrush head on it. Okay. Um, I know there's a community of people that would probably buy this because it's a snap-on <laughs> toothbrush. <Yes. laughs> so that's a win. That's true. You know what? I didn't really think about that because my initial leaning is like an 87 for this one. 
I think this was an 89 for me. An 89 89 for, you, really? for me, yeah. It's 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 sort of low effort. The edit is all not all that great, you know, but if they're speaking to their community, this is an 89. You know what? They probably really are speaking to their cr- community. Yep. I I guess for me I'm just having a trouble seeing more humor in it. This, I mean, it's it's you know what I would have too sci for me. Here's I what I would have liked. Here's okay. here's how I would have improved this as a complete amateur and not knowing person of what what humor actually <laughs> is. I would have liked to that for them to play into the expensive nature of Snap-on tools. Be self-aware. You know, make a the little tooth- self-deprecation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, make yeah. the toothbrush like ninety nine, like a hundred bucks, ninety nine, ninety nine. Yeah. Right, and then. It gives it just a little bit more. Premium motorized 20-volt version. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. A- interchangeable heads, For, well, whatever. Well, no, the motorized version is $600. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> no need to floss, right? No yeah. need to floss. Never see a dentist again. I know that's probably a liability for a corporate company like this, but PB Blaster did it. God, everyone's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's yeah, ruined. I, I don't know. I guess for me, I, I'm probably still floating in the 87 for me. Uh, you Especially know what? after you already improved it. Like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> that didn't come out. <laughs> you know what? After what I just said, like, I, if yeah, I, I think I'm 87. Because even the one. background's really like, yeah, weird just, tooth it, wallpaper. Yeah, it's literally tooth wa- wallpaper. Yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. all it is. Yeah, I think they they could have gone a little harder with this one. Definitely. Be a little self deprecating for for April Fools. We understand corporate should understand. Snap on CEO, stop taking Shoot. yourself so seriously. Snap on's at the top. They could have punched down and just like fucked with another brand. Even. Yeah, seriously. Like, yeah, 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 a little friendly. You know, Mac little, Tools. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like oh yeah, you guys don't have a toothbrush. It's us. Like. We care about our technicians. Yes. Here's a toothbrush. Coming to a truck near you. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? The, the snap on truck coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are available if you want to hire us. <laughs> Moving on to consultants. the next one CarMax. This one you actually put on my radar. Give us the descri- description. Okay. So we're looking at a screenshot, but this was actually a full blown reel. They went through and recorded this whole thing as like a. 80s sitcom introductory i mean full music um full full music and camera panning all the people going up casually doing something like sees the camera oh i didn't see you there yeah (laughs) Yeah, i think full house family matters step by step that style called lots like parking lots yeah lots of love yep and they put goofy eyes and tongues on their cars of the lots at carmax yep um, they did have a description on there. Honestly, I know they wrote stuff for the description, but I was too busy watching the video. It was actually produced really well. The music was actually funny and catchy. Like the amount of F, especially doing, um, 91 octane and learning how to do these videos. Yeah. The amount of effort they put in, <laughs> like their rival, even though it's not cracking me up as hard as finger blaster the amount of effort they put in and <laughs> and how much i did enjoy it it's a 91 for me it's a 91 for it's you a 91 all day for me it's an 87 for me really yeah i did not like it <laughs> wow why? yeah i did not i i don't know i feel <clears throat> like i feel like this reel could work in any day of the year what is april fools about this you know there is no foolery but the silliness is there. There's silliness. There's, there's silliness. There's silliness but, there. But there, the silliness is like IG real level silliness that can, like I said, work any day of the year. But I didn't yeah. feel like there was any, there was no trickery, right? There was no, there was nothing that really indicated that we're stretching beyond the realm of reality, which is what. I would Unless expect. they said they were making a sitcom on Netflix or something. Exactly. But I honestly, I was so intrigued by the video, I didn't even read, or nor do I remember what they wrote. <laughs> I did. I, I dug into this oh, one. Oh, you did? Okay. Because when okay. you put it on my radar, I'm like, what the hell does Tony see in this? Like, what? I don't, what? And then, but then it's nostalgic. Maybe. Yeah. Right? It's nostalgic. It feels like our youth. And I get that part. And you're right about the edit. That This edit took forever. 
Uh, yeah, I was looking at that. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This would take me like a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're also not CarMax. You're not I'm, like I'm a multi-million not, I'm not. Yeah, true. called dollar company. So, kind of like how you felt some of that pain from the other edit. Yeah. And then now I'm feeling the pain on this one. I think that's what's happening on this one, too, a little <laughs> yeah, bit for me. Yeah, I was like, yeah. that took a lot of effort. When there's companies not doing shit... These guys went ahead and said, yeah, we're going to do a full-ass video. And because of that, I think I'm willing to settle at an 89. Okay. Yeah. You know what? And pointing out that it wasn't foolery. Yeah. It was just uh, silliness. Yeah. I think I'm willing to meet you in the middle on 89. On 89. This one. So, CarMax, yeah. you're an 89. At least you came through. I didn't see anything from Carvana. So, you're winning as far That's as I'm true. concerned. That is true. All right. Next one. Uh, Hertz introducing the all new AI. Yes. Uh, oh, one mention I believe about the CarMax one. Yeah. Is they did do a ton of effort in that and they got one comment. I'm, I'm sorry. They got, oh, yeah. they got seven comments all from the same person. From one person that went on <clears throat> the longest diatribe complaining about something. <laughs> <laughs> yes and i felt so bad for you know what maybe that's what was bumping up my score i had yeah. empathy for them i was like man they put a lot of effort in that thing for the only person to see the or com bother commenting on the post was just bitching at them 100 <laughs> percent. i kind of like they need they yeah you're the social media person at carmax i'm my my heart goes out to yes. you <laughs> yeah. Yeah. matter of fact after we saw that i made a comment to just go i love the effort you guys did like <laughs> yeah. keep going you can do it yeah <laughs> creator to creator we feel you we feel you all right so on to hertz all right so hertz was another video full of editing lots of effort put in this one was introducing the Tom Brady cutting edge AI driven navigation system for their cars. And they put, um, oh, do you know what those are called? Those little orbs that like do the electricity when you touch them, your hair is supposed to like, I don't know what they're called. It looks like one of those, but they have his face kind of like hologrammed. Inside. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I went through it and it wasn't funny enough for me, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I like the effort. The effort was great. Yeah. But I, it, I guess it just didn't hit me to to laugh enough. 87. 87. 87 for 87 me. 87. Yeah. For Although it's a video, it's a hard edit. I don't know. It didn't. I don't know. It just didn't hit with me. It, it didn't that's resonate. That's kind of where I feel. I, yeah. It, it didn't. Whatever it was targeting didn't target it well, I guess. And it's not hard to put a face on something in a video like that. So. Yeah, that's true. 87. 87 what about you um i'm also not a patriot because fan. huh <laughs> i'm also not a <laughs> <laughs> so totally meaningless because nobody none of these companies are going to watch this video or acknowledge that we excuse rated this. me <laughs> <laughs> but i want to give it an 89 to push more companies to put in these <laughs> kind of efforts <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay to encourage right. I, to encur I, okay. I want to encourage this and go you did good effort you did better than these losers like All right. an <laughs> encouraging get... 89 from tony a yes. fuck tom brady from john <laughs> 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 all right on to the next one ecs tuning this one came through email which is the only one so far that we haven't discussed through instagram ecs tuning send out an email to anyone that's on their email chain uh, for spinners and honestly we're looking at the image now the actual email has spinning rims we've talked oh, it about moves. it moves oh nice so we've talked about this before they they launched their newest product alzor spinners and we've talked about spinners before on this podcast on whether it's real we even talked about it last year with some guests shout out to keeping up with the bavarians and a portion of me, a big part of me was like, what? They're coming back? <laughs> <laughs> what? So they got you a little they bit. They got me a little bit. They got me a little bit. And on that alone, and the fact that they went, you know, it's multiple layers to this. There's a, there's a main image. 
there's multiple sizing. There's a 17 inch spinners, 18 inch spinners, and they've got an E36 in the in the picture that you're looking they at here. Do. And I, in my head, I was Did like, you rock them. What do spinners look like on an E36? Would that look cool? You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be a trailblazer in oh, California no. bringing them back? Dude. I, so I got two questions on this one. Let's go. Did they post it on social media like Instagram? Did you I did not check. check that? Okay. I did not check. And where does it take you when you click the link? Like I'm assuming that shop now is a link, right? You know what? Those are very good questions because I didn't perform either of those actions. God so does damn. that mean that does that mean that I am just not interested enough in this. I, I got my chuckles and dear didn't diary, go. John gets an 87 <laughs> for not doing proper research. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know what? I did click. You did click. Okay. But I don't remember. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Um, and I think it might have just taken you to a same page similar to this. Okay. And it just shows the same thing. Got it. But yeah, I no. I almost wish it would have got popped up like gotcha sucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, th it should have. Oh, it should have. Oh my god. No, this was good. This was a good one. This was a 91 for me. It was a 91 for it's you. It's a 91 for me cuz the the images were great. They were all animations. Uh the fact that they invested in the newsletter versus just an Instagram post was great. I actually want to check if they actually posted it on Instagram now. Okay. So I guess pending your uh, your search right now on Instagram. Yeah, I want to give it a ninety one because it's good. It's yeah. funny. I I like it. I enjoy it. Right. Yeah. But I fucking hate <laughs> email. E the advertising email. You though. can't hold that against them though. Oh, I'm absolutely going to really. That for me makes me want to bump it to eighty nine. Okay, but so I'm willing to settle for a ninety one because it is good. So let. So it's let, on social media. Let me see if this changes. Okay, so if it is on social media, it's a 91. Yes, yes. If they're just cluttering my email some more, nah. They were just cluttering email, which honestly I think is a little more special. They're catering just think, to the do people. Do you think these emails are special, John? I don't think they're special, <laughs> but the only reason I'm on this email is because I've purchased something from them. And then you don't unsubscribe? Mm, I haven't. Okay. I yeah, I haven't. Unsubscribe. That's why I'm kind of like... To me, I want to give it a 91 so bad. But you're in 89. But I'm at 89 with them. So, ECS, I'm the BMW owner. In case you're wondering, I gave you a 91. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are an 89. We're going to stay split on this I one. I think we're staying split. I really want to give them the 91, but no, it's like hiding their shame. Like, come on. If you're going to do it, you do it loud and proud. Everybody's got to see. I can see that. You know I can I mean? see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're funny, but only here. Only, only I can see. I feel like this would have been done so well, though. It was. It was so well done. It, no, it was. I'm not yeah. saying it was. it was. The fact that on the graphic they were moving. That's why I say it is 91 quality, but output it as 89 into the into the real world. Right, because they didn't they didn't spam your Instagram, just your email. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I understand that argument. I'm still under 91, but I can understand that. Moving on to the next one. This one is by Easy Splitters, which I absolutely hate because they do like those like really whack like foam splitters that people put on the front. Like you buy it on eBay. Okay. Right. You just yeah, yeah. 3M on there. But they came out with carbon fiber toilet lids and okay. toilets. It was a video. Okay. It was an actual like carbon fiber toilet lid, carbon fiber actual seat for toilets. They made it? They made it. It's in-house production. In-house production. Really? In-house production. Okay. Right? And so they had these videos of stuff to make and then posted a reel on a new product alert with a little poop emoji, carbon fiber toilets. Okay. All right, I'm glad I got context to this. I got. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I got context to this. Yeah. So my initial one when I saw this right now was an instant 87. Instant 87. Because okay. it's been done before many times. Carbon fiber toilets. Yeah. Okay. I, I've seen it. A matter of fact, I think there was some. I've seen it where a couple people's made them. A couple were photo edited, and I, just recently I saw somebody wrapping one. 
wrapping a toilet. Wrapping a I toilet see that in one. carbon fiber. I want to see that If one. I see it again, I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay, sounds but good. But I've seen it so many times that, to me, it, it went to Insta87. But if they actually produce their own... Uh, I think it's going to have to sit at 89 for me. 87 for me. 87 for 80, me. With no context of this joke being done before. Really? Yeah. It was just not... Like, I felt I, like... I got the 89 because they made it. You're yeah, say, I get that. There's a lot of effort. Own. Yeah, there's a lot of effort in making a toy. Yeah, right? but the content itself if, if yeah. is an 87 for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Not really... Not believable at all. You know, toilet humor, although I'm very much a toilet humor connoisseur uh it just mm, didn't really hit for me you yeah. know uh the video wasn't all that great too and easy splitters i'm just not a fan of but yeah uh yeah 87 for me 87 89 for you mostly just because of the effort because of the effort yeah. the effort i'm getting a for you a, a for effort yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a for yeah. effort all right here we go renline a popular uh they make accessories for bmws made the biggest shifter i've ever seen in my life It literally looks like a hot air balloon that you can put your hand in to shift the car and it's really just a shift knob but it's the size probably of like two soccer balls or an or a basketball. Let's call it a, call it a basketball. It's got a hole in the middle for you to put your ball in. It's a video, and you can shift through all gears using it. This is, one's silly. Is it real? It's real. It's real. It's a video. So when you it's say real. you can put your ball in it, like uh. No, no, you can put your hand in it. My bad. Oh, okay. I okay. misspoke. <laughs> I, w- I, w- I misspoke. Not thinking, speaking. But you can put your hand in it as you're seeing here on the picture. Uh yeah. Is it? It's silly. Is it? Is it fully? I don't know. Um, I mean, it's fully in the sense that it's a fake product and it's tangibly enough so that you could build it and buy it, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, <laughs> there are some wild shift knobs out there. Yeah, I mean, they even make hoodies for shifters. Have you seen that? Yes. And that's not April Fool's. That's like no, legit. No, yeah, legit, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, there, there's some wild, weird shit for shifters all the time. Um, I think just a big round ball is is not super creative. Even if they did make it or three D print it or whatever, yeah, uh, it's just not creative enough for me. There, because there's so much real stuff. Yep, yep. That you can do with a shifter that just seems a little bland yeah even if it is big i'm with you yeah so i think 87 for me i think so too yeah it's uh was it not the size of the boat it's about the motion in the ocean (laughs) 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 right yeah and this is big it's out there it's loud the real was uh, it was all right you know like it wasn't i I didn't laugh but i watched i'm working off a screenshot i have yeah that's true but yeah, like you're right. It's just uh it's just ridiculous for the sake of ridiculous. It's not really there's really no trickery to it. So I'm also 87. Sorry, right. Renline. Engine air intakes. They posted a new DIY engine air intake kit and it's literally PVC piping coming out of a motor. Instant 87. One hundred percent. I have an engine air intake and I was disappointed to have it installed <laughs> and that this was it. This was literally they stole this meme off of Facebook somewhere. One hundred percent. Yeah. And they just put text over it. Yeah, I thought that's exactly what I thought. This is someone else's image. They found it and they're like, Oh, we're gonna use it for April Fools. Yeah. Which is like fine, you know, social media guy, good on you on being efficient. In terms of the 91 octane rating, 87, 100%. Yeah. That instant 87, just, eh. Let's <laughs> <Yeah>. go. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Pikes Peak Hill Climb. They announced that for 2024, the hill climb will also include the downhill portion. I laughed. I like it. I, I liked like it. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked it. Uh, 
it is it's heady in the way that unless you understand what a hill climb what a hill climb <laughs> is or how challenging it is to drive downhill yeah. You're not really going to understand the significance of this. Mm -hmm. If you're just like a casual observer of this type of racing. Oh, they're just going to think it's real. And exactly. Just like, eh, all right, pa bypass Which it. Which adds to the foolery for me. Uh, I think for me, it takes them a little bit too serious still. Really? Uh, I, I think they really could have been more foolery. That was not really foolery. That's just more of like a, a general trick. So let me let me say this. Okay, so I posted a Pikes Peak hill climb a long time ago about adding the Rainbow Road from Mario Kart onto Pikes Peak hill right. climb. Um, how would you compare that to this? Yours would have got a ninety-one. Oh, yours would have got a ninety-one. Damn, <laughs> damn. Because <laughs> okay. let's. So we're trying to QC all parts of these, right? Right. So beyond the like, oh, because obviously it's hill climb. We're not going to do downhill. Everybody's going to die if they do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what is the graphic really? It's just a picture Good of, point. of the cars going up and down. It's a very boring graphic. Good point. Good point. Good point. It would have been nice to see someone like with like a really scared look on their face or just something that indicates to even like regular people this isn't right. This, yeah, that's good, what you're looking for. Good point. Good point. Good so, point. I don't know. For, for me, it from an enthusiast side, right? It's kind of like, oh, cool. Like they they are participating. Just the fact that they're participating is cool. I I think just for me, I was kind of like, it, it was a little boring for me. Yeah. No, I feel you. For me, I feel you. I feel you on that. So. I'm honestly a little bit torn on 87 to 89. Really? I'm firmly 89 based on your argument. Okay. Yeah. I well, might have been low 91 before. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm willing to meet you at 89 on this 89, one. 89, all right. I'm willing to meet you on 89 Negotiator. on this one. Negotiator. Yep. Pikes Peak Hill Climb, 89 on your April Fool's post. <laughs> yep. Get some Rainbow Road in there. Yeah. Okay. I think we got one more. This is the last one. This is... What I would consider our non-automotive entry, but still automotive. Yeah. yeah. Te welcome, Tetris. Welcome. Bring welcome. On. Yeah, Te come Tetris. On in. The 80s or 70s, Makita probably 80s. Makita was almost on the border. Yeah, Makita was on the border, although you tools. use those tools. Yeah, tools. Yeah. All right. But Tetris is literally a non-automotive related game. Not even adjacent. And they announced they, they were releasing their first ever Tetris electric vehicle in 2025. Yep. <laughs> and it said, uh, the graphic said on there only 500 will be manufactured. Comment below if you're ready to take it for a T-spin. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So it was a little corny funny, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The the edit looks good, right? Yeah. Honestly, the aesthetics of that photo. Really good. Really good. Really like, good, yeah. They didn't do the full frontal, just the face of it, Tetris. Yeah. Right? They actually cut off part of their logo on the screen. The Tetris on the steering wheel is kind of askew to the left. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Nice aesthetics with it. Really good. I think they did a good job of not having to go all out with the graphic, but still giving us enough to be a convincing teaser. Yeah. 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 No, they yeah. did a really good job on that. Yeah. Um, For me, this actually was a 91. Okay. This actually was a 91. Like did this... you believe it at any point? No. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> okay. I know EVs are going wild right now with yeah, some yeah, weird yeah. shit, but no, I didn't but believe Tetris, it. But Tetris, I was in 89 on this you one. You were in 89 yeah. on this one. That's very, very good graphics. All, all, you know, uh, a cool little announcement, but not very... You know what? I'm being unfair because Tetris isn't an automotive company. No, they're a video game they're company. They're a video game company. And so in that sense, I'm changing my score to 91 yeah, on they, this one. Yeah. They took some effort to get in there. Like they don't know how to make these posts. They don't post cars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Somebody yeah. went through and like figured out what a good aesthetic picture is. I'm even looks surprised like they advertise. went this way. You know what I mean? It's it's weird. Yeah. It is weird. Maybe they're a media guy is like a low key car guy. Oh man. So those are your ratings for this year's or 2024's April Fools 
All stars, rock stars, and losers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty good. There was a lot of them. There's a lot more of them than I thought. Yeah, I, I know when we had our little uh, our episode meetings, we were like, "Did you find any?" I was like, a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, I feel honestly this motivated me to like next April Fools come up with something pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm like, all right. We took a break this year, but next year we need to go hard. Coming hard. All we right. We need to come right. right. We need to come right. Well, that is our episode. You can find us at 91octane.com. That is all letters, no numbers. Also, like and subscribe wherever you're listening to this podcast. Follow us on Instagram at 91octane. If you want to send us any emails, info at 91octane.com. Tony, any last words? Let us know in the comments what your favorite was. Yeah. Seriously. For our 91 Octane april fool's ratings yeah and if you're listening to this podcast just go to youtube and like let us know See yeah we, or go on instagram i don't know i want to know yeah who's your know. favorite and if there's anyone that we didn't cover that you think should have been on the list let us know who those people are too absolutely yeah definitely curious all right good night good night